So the way I understand CARE is it's really just an early intervention program. It's a way to identify students who are struggling in your class and uh, develop a plan to help them uh, succeed ultimately in the, in the class. And that plan can be in any number of, of ways. So my care plan, what I did was I, I basically lectured on the first three chapters of the, the class and then after the first three chapters I gave the students a, uh, an assessment. Mm -hmm. They completed the assessment, I graded it, and then based on, on how they performed on that assessment, I developed an individualized study plan for each student. I met with the students face to face on a quick meeting, it about, took about five to ten minutes, went over the results with them, gave them the study plan the activities that I wanted them to do, and then we scheduled a follow-up meeting a week later. Uh, they came back. Uh, I also gave them a study uh, uh, log as well so that they could study their time uh, or log their time that they're actually uh, spending doing the activities and reflecting on how well their studies went. And then I, I met back with them a week later and uh, went over the plan with them, verified that they completed the activities and gave them a chance to do another assessment. Uh, to verify whether they improved or not. I didn't do too well on his first um, exam that he gave me. I was just not into the school group as yet and I was just, I didn't really expect, I didn't know what to expect for accounting, uh, financial accounting, until the first exam. Then I knew what I was in for. Um, well, after the test, he gives you back and then he, give, he attaches a paper on what you need to focus on. So after that, I went to his class and he broke it down just exactly in detail and depth what I need to focus on so he's like okay get the book it told me what page I need to focus on and exactly what chapter and it, it was just very specific so I turned my attention strictly to it and it helped me a whole bunch well I've been teaching this class for about 15 years and, and one of the problems I've always noticed in this class is that uh, students tend to struggle early on in the class for various reasons, so I was just looking for a way to be able to identify them and, and create a plan to help them. Yeah, I, I really did a lot of thinking about, about what type of plan I wanted to implement, and, and my conclusion really was that I needed something very personal, individualized, so that I could create accountability with the students, uh, so that they would have something that says, yeah, this one's for me, um, something that says, I, I, this is what I need to work on and this is how I can go about doing it. Uh, so I was looking for a plan that had a lot of accountability and, and it was individualized as well. Uh, well, the benefits were, were easy. One, one of the great benefits was it gave me an opportunity very early on in the, early on in the semester to uh, get to know my students personally. And that face-to-face -face meeting uh, it was great to be able to kind of gauge where they were at, what they were struggling with in particular, and, and even to ask some questions about you know, what their, their study habits were, uh, what other challenges they might be facing at home, or what's causing them to struggle in the class. So, so that was definitely some of the benefits. Uh, the challenges were just the time that it took. Uh, you know, with the, the amount of students I had that participated in the program and all the face-to-face -face meetings, it was challenging not just for me to find time to meet with the students, but also for them to, to participate as well. After I got my exam, the study plan told me, okay, I need to go to chapter one and I need to review what to debit and what to credit. So it made me really look towards specific things I need to focus my attention on instead of just focusing on the whole general thing. I was looking more to, okay, I'm going to have to look at all these type of things, but I didn't like really look at the specific things that make the whole part. Well, right now I'm in managerial, so instead of... Uh, just breezing through the book and just skimming by. I'm looking more specifics, like I'm looking at every, like all the diagrams. I'm looking at the extra stuff that he puts online on the on Blackboard, and I'm just really keen in on to like what what I feel it's going to be important, and what he's going to put on this test because I know everything that he's given me in the test it's going to help me in the long run. Just effort, really. I, it was really just a matter of, of trying to find the time, work work the time in. Um, but uh, it was it was really just just putting the effort forward and, and knowing that I that I felt like it was going to succeed, that it was worthwhile.
Yeah, you know, I, it, it's, it's, it's kind of was amazing to me how much I found that my students really wanted to succeed, um, that they weren't just being lazy early on in the class, that they did have challenges, that they, you know, had work schedules or family issues that were beyond, in many cases, beyond their control. Uh, but they were looking for something, you know, that, uh, that, that could help them. And, and I think creating, like I said, that accountability to me, uh, there was an element where I think there was, there was some that they wanted to please me too after kind of getting to know them on a personal basis. They wanted to succeed. They had to come back a week later and show their results, show that they completed those activities. I benefit mostly because when I went to take back the tests for Professor Paxton, I was keen on like in very important uh, terms on the book. Like I believe one of the questions was, it was a true or false and it has to do with the gap uh, requirements stuff like that and I didn't know any of it but once I revised what he asked me to I focused my, my entire attention to gap requirements and what they asked about so when I took back the test it was I was ready in my head and I knew exactly what I had to do. If I had to say well, Prof Professor Paxton was different because usually professors would give like general examples but he would go very in depth and he gave most importantly what he experienced like in the past and like when I was thinking like, man, he's a professor now, he went through all of this. So it's like I had to put the part where reality really is coming to me. So I feel like it was a, su a success. So I don't, I don't feel like I need to make any drastic changes. But what I need to do and what I need to find a way is to be able to to replicate the personal interactions with the students uh, and keep that aspect of the plan. Um, while also being able to to handle a larger population of students if I have multiple sections. So that's probably the biggest challenge I have faced in terms of making changes to the plan going forward. Uh, so what I learned about my students, uh, that it's not always that they're just getting off to a poor start and they don't want to do the work. Uh, I think students here, not surprisingly, in Valencia have a lot of challenges outside of the classroom that they face, and I think that does impact their, their studies and the time that they spend. Uh, and, and, and learning a little bit about those challenges and what's facing them uh, helped me to better understand uh, what they're facing and, and how to maybe address uh, you know, my future planning and future studies going forward. I don't know if I'm going to make any drastic changes in that regard. I, I still feel like like the you know objectives and outcomes for the course have to be managed and 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 handled in the course. So uh, you still have to hold those those students accountable for what they do. But uh, you know, giving them an opportunity, say, to you know come back and revisit a subject, you know, using a plan like this, uh, I think was very beneficial for them and helped them later on in the course as, as my course has a lot of building blocks from one chapter to the next. So being able to, to go back and revisit a, a particular subject that they struggled in and be able to have that help them going forward was, was hugely beneficial, I think. It's making me read way more than I used to. So I'm trying to focus on way more details and not just skimming over the, the books and text. I'm trying to focus a lot more of my attention to terms and definitions and what classifies as what.